Howdy folks, Tech Texan here, bringing you Spin Tires. Now this game, I qu I totally overlooked it and thought, ah, it's just another car game out in the middle of nowhere, and no biggie. Uh, but actually, I was not wise to ignore it, because uh, I spotted my friend, uh, my buddy Jay Han, playing this game on his live stream, and sure enough, uh, I can see what the appeal to this game is, and it is, in fact, the simulation of the mud that is so nice. And, of course, the scenery itself looks good. The graphics are good. Uh, but uh, my interest was how they did the mud and the terrain. They did a really good job, and actually uh, just trudging your way through it is, uh, is a lot more fun than I thought it would be. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and give it a shot on single player. I think I'm going to go ahead and do... Oh, I could do the coast, which I think was a little easier, but we're going to do something a little more difficult and... Hmm. Let's do the flood. Why not? Well, let's do the plains. I think this will be interesting. So, the actual uh, objective of the game is nothing complicated. Uh, what you have to do, I'm going to go to the map mode here with the F1 key. They start you off at a garage with a certain number of vehicles that you could switch between at any time. And basically, uh, assuming it works, you can uh, travel from the garage. First of all, you attach whatever attachments you need, whether it be utility uh, or different types of carriages. So you can get small logs, medium logs, or large logs, depending. And what you do is you make your way to uh, this little area up here in the corner, this little lumber area, and you collect the lumber and deliver it to the objective over here. And usually there's more than one objective. I think this map has two objectives, but don't quote me on that. Um, and that's it. That's all there is to it. You're just delivering lumber. But it's a lot more difficult than it sounds because the terrain is... Something that is not going to be nice to you. So without further ado, let's uh, play this game and give it a shot. So right now, I have this truck right here. Uh, let's get some... No, we're not going to put on highway wheels. But uh, let's see, we have garage cart. Let's see, we have a carriage installed. Now, I can install a log cart, but this log cart also requires uh, either medium log, log trailer or long log trailer. Uh, well, I had to position the truck properly. Uh, I can get the medium truck trailer, which anytime you have a trailer, you know, different. there's different size trailers and, and so forth, uh, you're going to have more difficulty getting through the terrain when you, when you install that kind of stuff. But right now, I'm going to uninstall those, and I'm just going to do the regular, no, no, not the log cart, it's the uh, carriage, there we go. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the carriage uh, can carry multiple loads, uh, probably just small logs, if I'm not mistaken, and we'll just go with that. All right, without further ado, the V key to go to my menu. I could stop the engine or start the engine, uh, and depending on the vehicle, you might have other options as well. Uh, the T key is to turn off that parking brake as soon as I get out of the menu. There we go. Now, we do have limited fuel, so you got to be careful about that, and a certain number of damage. All right, so let's go ahead and move forward. So you'll notice that the terrain does in fact get warped as you drive through it. And depending on the type of terrain, uh, you either just simply leave some tracks or you're pretty much going to dig uh, some uh, trenches there. You can see I'm already digging a little bit. Alright, so I'm just going to go straight through here. And hopefully the water is not too deep. So you can see the mud effects are actually pretty darn good, uh, you know, for a video game. Uh-oh. I might be a little stuck. <laughs> well, that didn't take long. Come on. All right. Let's see if I can't use my my winch. There we go. I got a winch. I'm going to use uh, the F key to 
kind of pull me out. There we go. And luckily, I did not take any damage. Whoa. Uh-oh. Hello. I have no choice but to accept these rocks. Okay. I'm going to disable the winch there and maybe try winching from a different location. Maybe here. Let's try that. I might end up damaging my vehicle a little bit here. Come on. Come on. There you go. Haha. -ha. Okay. Let's put on that parking brake. Alright, there we go. Park and break off, and let's go ahead and get back on the road. That's what this game is all about. It is a lot of all-terrain uh, maneuvering and just trying to figure out the best way to get through to your objective. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there's going to be a fuel area up here, and I'll try to find that on the way. So really, the you know, as far as the objective, there's nothing to it. Uh, but really, grinding through is more difficult than it sounds. And sometimes the looks of the terrain can be deceiving. Like right here, it may very well be more difficult to go right than left. But I don't know that until I try. And sometimes there are rewards to going another direction, which in, it could be that fuel that I need, uh, I'm not sure. Uh-oh. I'm getting stuck. There we go. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of working through, steering left, right. For those of you that are, in fact, experts at off-roading, I'm pretty sure you're watching right now thinking, gosh, this guy's so, so bad at this. Especially for someone who lives in Texas. <laughs> I've done a little, my little small share of off-roading. We'll try going up the left side here if we can. Apparently not. Okay. So let's try winching our way through. Now, of course, you don't always want to winch your way through, but... Oops. But it's a good assist. There we go. Got my tires... Oh, hello. Got my tires in a little better situation there. Now getting through will be a little bit more easy. Now this part... Hmm. Well, we'll see how complicated it gets. As you can see, I mean, the water right here at first, it kind of looks daunting. Then it's like, oh, yeah, no problem. Just a little puddle. And the mud under it isn't too, too bad. But other areas, it just... You just sink. Like right here. I'm not really sure. Okay, there we go. Uh-oh. I hit something. Oh, no. <laughs> I am stuck. Oh, by the way, that little black vortex thing is basically to uncover the cloaked portion of the map to give you... Uh, an idea of what is out there so sometimes it's good to go for those particular uh, off the beaten path objectives oh look at there I, no that was a little progress <laughs> all right so let's see where I can winch I can winch there uh, anything over here whoops oh, these camera views nah, nothing over here I have no choice but to go this way and parking brake off there we go 
Let's see if I'm able to take it from here. There we go. Now we're rocking. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, no. Look at that. And keep in mind, the more I'm sitting there spinning my tires, the more fuel I'm using up, so I do have to look out for that. Oh, look, there's a winch spot right there. And that gets me through no problem. So make sure you try to stay close to the trees, because that does really help you get through. All right, took off the winch and moved forward. Sometimes I have a tendency to forget about the winch and end up darn near, you know, ripping off my bumper. Come on. Come on. All right. All right. So that's just a little demonstration. Again, some of this game is pretty slow going. It's a lot more fun in multiplayer. And <laughs> there we go. That's a perfect time to stop the videos right when I get stuck. Oh, well, no, not fully stuck yet. But as you can see, I have a long way to go to get anywhere. But uh, this game is, is a lot more fun than it looks. And uh, right now it's $30 on Steam. Uh, you can find some... Uh, cheaper prices to get steam keys at other uh, websites uh, so keep an eye out for the sales I'm not sure if I could say it's really worth fully you know a full thirty dollars but uh, I I'm definitely getting uh, my fun out of it for some of the sale prices so I think I'm just gonna end the video there and have you all take a look at it there are plenty of other videos out there uh, maybe I'll get some multiplayer action recorded and show you all some of the the real fun we get into so with that said y'all come back now you here bye